prison warders hostage and uh, doing things to the governors when they come and visit. Yeah, so. he, he does, but he, he really does it for, for a joke. He doesn't really mean it seriously. What did he do to the... Uh... I was out one day and you always get the governor come round on a, a tour, make sure everything's all right in the prison. And Charlie ran over and picked him up and ran away with him. I mean, it was hilarious at the time, you know. Uh, so things like that he used to do, yeah, it was quite, quite uh, funny. What, what about Lord Longford? We've got a picture of him somewhere, have we here? Or you have painted a picture of him. Yeah. Um, we're going to talk about your artwork a bit later. What about him? Did he just start visiting you in prison? Or how did that happen? He visited me for many years. He's a very, very nice man. Had a good sense of humour and I always look forward to his visits. And uh, other, other people got different opinions. You know, I've got a lot of time for him. He's a very nice man. We're gonna give the mic over and ask if anyone's got any questions about your prison days, but I was just gonna ask you, you, you took a certain attitude when you were there about you know, how you were gonna spend your time in prison because ultimately you spent 25 years there and you said that you could give advice to anyone really that was gonna go there and that's to, what, how, how did you handle it? What was it? Well, I handled it like I handled most situations in my life. Uh, I got on with it and uh, survived the best way you could. I mean, I was locked up with mainly being a double cut. I never ever got a cat C. I never got a cat C. So I never went to a cushy prison, which I did to go into. Which has on a deal with to? Locked up with the IRA, train robbers, and most people have got a, you know, quite a reputation. And double A category means that you're with two prison wardens all the time and it's just yeah, really difficult. What I, call it, I call it being on the book. So I had a, a book everywhere I went. If I went down the gymnasium, I had two staff to take me down the gymnasium and they would take the book with me and they would give the book to the gymnasium who was in charge down there and he would sign me in. And then when I was ready to go from the gymnasium, I'd have another two screws come down to pick me up, take me back to the wing, and then the wing would sign me in. Everywhere you went, you were signed in. Was everyone very sort of wary of you? Were people scared of you? Because you had this huge reputation at your trial, they'd had police cars and outriders, and uh, you know, you had a very sort of violent history. Uh, you know, were the other prisoners very wary of you, or did they see a different side of you? No, I never really had uh, much much problem with uh, other prisoners. I mean, various sometimes. People playing music next door, which driving you mad. Yeah, you get on the wall, out the window, and you know say something. But apart from that, yes, you know everyone uh, understands the situation. And you spent your time doing lots of courses when you were there, and you said that's what you'd tell anyone to do, you know, do, do the best you can when you're there. You did computer courses. Well, while you're in prison, you might as well make the most of it. You, you have got an opportunity to do courses, you know, computer courses and things like that. And I've always done things.